Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get all the updates. Uh, very excited for today's beer. It's courtesy of Brad Allison. Thank you so much, Brad and Jessica. Um, so make sure you check out their channel as well, Brad Allison. Uh, but probably if you watch me, you watch Brad. Um, I remember him reviewing this and me being like, I want to try that beer. Uh, it's a Bell's beer, and it's called Side Yard. It's a fresh hopped New England-style IPA. I just love the idea of taking those fresh, wet hops and then brewing a New England style IPA. Um, let's see. From our own hop yard to the kettle to the fermenter to you. So fresh, you'll think you harvested the hops yourself. Uh, and it's 6.8%, I believe. 6.8%. It says three months shelf life and it is almost at three months. So it actually might be kind of a cool take. Watch Brad's review, see it fresher, and then uh, watching this one and seeing you know, maybe what I think after about three months. Or, don't do that. Free country. Do whatever you want. Oh, it's got that nice, like, yellowy, almost like lemony kind of color. Dirty glass. Hate the water at my house. It's never used to happen to me. But anyway. Yeah, you know what? I can't remember what beer it was. Maybe a month or two ago. It was very similar to this color. And I remember saying, like, I haven't seen a beer this color in a while. So it's the same exact thought I'm having now. It is this murky, yellow, very orange juice, but like if it had like maybe like, I don't know, bananas or something like cutting into the orange juice color. But um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely very juicy. You can't see at all through it. Um, almost exactly two fingers of this barely off-white, super fluffy head. I mean, if you were judging a beer just on appearance. I mean, that is a beautiful, beautiful beer. Jeez. Let's see about the aroma. Very sweet, ripe fruit. Um, I didn't re-watch his video, so it has been a while since I've seen his. Um, so I am going in pretty blind, um, despite having have watched it like, two months ago or whatever it was, um, or maybe three months ago, maybe he reviewed like super fresh even and posted it immediately. So, um, I, I, will have to, after I do this, watch his, but, um, it, I mean, it's, it's so many ripe fruits and I'm, I'm going to go in again, try to get some specific fruits. Cause that, at first it was just like this, like fruit salad kind of a thing. I don't think it says what hops. I'm getting like some pineapple on that. Yeah, I don't see hops. Um, which I love that smell of pineapple, especially ripe pineapple, period. But let it, you know, in a beer, it's so nice. Again, I'm kind of all over with the fruits. If I get some soft citrus, I get a little bit of that mango too. But for me, it's, it's pineapple forward. It smells and looks amazing, which makes me very hopeful for the taste. Only one way to find out. Cheers. It's good. And it's definitely an IPA bitterness. Um, so it has good mouthfeel. It, it, it's, it's somewhat creamy like you want. Like, like you know, it you know, uh, lays nice on your tongue. There's enough uh, of the hop bitterness um, that's like, yep, this is an IPA. Uh, we're not upping the, the malt character, uh, uh, upping the sweetness uh, enough to be maybe uh, like a double. Um, so it definitely drinks like an IPA. I might, if I was doing this blind, think it was like a big pale ale even. Um, and I hope I'm not scaring anyone off. Like for me, it's not too bitter at all. Decent zest, grapefruit, lemon, and orange as I'm talking. So it does have a very citrusy uh, like aftertaste, which I'm loving. I almost don't want to take a sip yet because it's still like lingering on my tongue and it, it's such a, a pleasant, fresh, vibrant citrus. And again, it's like that zest. Um, but for science, I'll take another sip. I actually get, it's not 100% what I think that New England um, yeast character is, but it's really close to that. So I don't know what yeast they're using, and, and if, if maybe I'm completely off on that. But it tastes very similar to what I associate 
like like your Hetty Topper kind of New England stuff. Um, not quite like the approaching bubble gummy that like something like a treehouse might have, um, but kind of like that Hetty Topper kind of uh, um, like the Vermont New England earlier IPA thing. This is a compliment. I don't think I came across that way. Um, it's hard, like unlike the, well, I, I guess somewhat similar to the aroma, I'm having a hard time pulling out specific flavors in it. Um, it is good. This is, because when you do these beer reviews, it kind of forces you to, you know, take it all in, try to try study it, dissect it. And, and so this is not a knock at all. This would be a really good beer to drink like while eating something like like to have a dinner you take a sip it's refreshing um it, it does have a little bit of like, like i was saying like that zest so it, again it, it's a very refreshing uh, uh sip to have but it's not like some super complex like i'm getting x y and z in this you know but um again for an ipa or, or like a stronger pale ale almost like perfect level of bitterness that i want in a beer like this but take one more sip see if i can I'm really going to try to dive in and see if I can get some more specific tasting notes, though. It's very lemony. And again, I think that's the word I'm going to use. This is such a refreshing beer. And at the ABV, you know, like a couple of these on a hot day, I mean, it's just... It, and I've said this in other reviews, not many times though, but it's definitely applicable here. It's like if lemon water was a beer. And like, I mean that in a huge compliment. You know, like I love lemon, I like, I drink a lot of water. But um, I, you know, every once in a while, it's nice to put like some, you know, lemon peels in it or, or uh, you know, sliced up lemons uh, and, and kind of make, you know, infused water. And if you if you took that kind of a flavor profile, because it does pull a lot of the peel and, and, and like that zest to taste, and then you, you like brewed an IPA with it and you, you were able to retain that real lemon taste. This has that in spades. It's just a good beer. But yeah, it's, like I said, it's not overly complicated. It's a good beer. I would I would crush these <laughs> uh, for sure. Uh, again, especially on a nice day outside. That'd be awesome. Uh, thanks again for sending it. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check out Instagram and Untapped. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.